featured on the IFL TV in association with Macklin's Gym Marbella. I'm at Guildhall in Preston Sam. With me, I've got now 6 and 0, 3 knockout prospect, Bill, Big Bill Hodgson. Big Bill, yeah, Get it right. Yeah. Um, a guy he fought before, uh, out in Blackpool. I know you fought him again tonight, but a tough fight. He was, a, he was a he was a game game fella. Yeah, very game. He's just he's just a tough man, and he comes to fight. You know, you could hit him with a bat, and he's still freaking good at you. So it's just uh, yeah, it's just one of those a tough tough night. Oh. Of the uh, hometown advantage, uh, the, the the noise out there today was immense. So I mean, yeah. for the first fight, considering in one minute, I swear to God, it was empty. Your fight got announced, and all of a sudden, there's about oh, hundred and something people in here. So I told everyone was first on, so they've all got here dead early. So I shifted quite a lot of tickets for this as well, being my hometown. And that, so it's all good, isn't it? Plus, uh, I think Preston got their points today at Villa. Two yeah, all. he did. Two all. Come so back yeah, in the second yeah, half. I know. Yeah. So not a bad day in the office, really. Well, to be fair, I had Aston Villa in the accumulator, so oh, you yeah, can speak to me. It. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, a, a good performance all round. Um, yeah. There were some moments there where he was catching you with a few shots, you were yeah, catching you with a few shots, it was a bit 50 50. Yeah, just yeah, found it a little bit awkward. I um, don't know how to get out of second gear today, I don't know. This what I was, I'm not happy with the performance, but I'm never, ha I'm never happy with the performance. You just got to keep pushing, aren't you? Learning new things, getting back in the gym. I'll be back in the gym next week, you know, just learning and learning things we didn't do, what we should have done in there. But it's all a learning curve, you know, and we'll obviously come back stronger. Obviously, very early on in the year, uh, you've already had a fight. We're still in, yeah. in mid-January. How many more fights are you looking to have this year? I don't know. I just like to keep as busy as I can. Um, obviously, my last fight was 10th of December, the 21st of January. So I trained through. All, I had a week off. And I trained all the way through uh, Christmas. I was out running Christmas Day. And, well, uh, no Christmas dinner this year. No Christmas dinner for me, mate. Oh. But yeah, just kept busy. But you know, I don't mind it. You know, I live in the gym. You know, um, my trainer at Alan Levine. You know, the same. He lives in the gym with us. So he's just constantly on us, you know, we'll keep learning, you know, we'll keep listening to what he's saying and keep progressing. Obviously on, on ITV today, a uh, televised platform, Yeah. a good place to be and in your hometown as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, when you got the call to say that this was a, a potential date for you, how, how quick was you to jump at the opportunity? Oh, I was buzzing mate, buzzing, you know, anything, just to, just to be a part of this show, you know, is a massive thing, you know, with the first show back on ITV, you know, it's, it's a massive platform. So uh, hopefully there'll be a lot more shows and hopefully I can sneak on them and I'm going to keep progressing. Um, towards the end of the year, obviously like I said you've had a fight early on this year, 2017 you're 6-0 now, what, what are you looking to achieve by the end of the year? Area titles, what are you looking at? Yeah, area title, um, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't really tell, say where I'm going to get really, I just leave it to uh, you know, my coach and my manager Neil Marsh, you know, and they, uh, they, I'm sure they've got a plan for me, you know, whoever they get, I put it in front of me, I'll fight, you know, and, uh, that's, that's pretty much it. Really. That's the best mentality to have really, as a yeah, fighter. if it comes, it comes, doesn't it? And, you know, uh, I've got all faith in Neil Marsh, you know, uh, he's, a, he's one of the fantastic managers, you know what I mean? Uh, and Alan Levine as well, we're all close friends, so you know, I've got an absolutely fantastic team behind me. You know, it's the same with stable mates as well, Mick Halsey and stable, Adam Little. So, uh, yeah, it's good people around me, very good people, we're very lucky. Alright then, mate, well, obviously, well done tonight, a great yeah. performance. Uh, hopefully, a big year ahead for you and, and the team, but uh, again, well done to Preston for grabbing the point today, yeah. you bastards. That's it. <laughs> but um, I'll catch you soon. Uh, yeah. Bill, well done tonight, and I'll catch you on. Nice one, um, cheers, cheers mate. Mate.